NASA's International Space Station is one of the most impressive structures we put in space. The cameras that are attached to the ISS are constantly streaming, allowing anyone to view the incredible sights that it beams back to us. The International Space Station has four high definition cameras, and on NASA's websites there's live cameras that allow you to watch what's going on above our planet. Interestingly though, during some of these viewers have noticed some odd things. The most recent discovery is that of a strange looking object that was picked up by one of the cameras. As with most of these types of images, they usually end up on social media. The user who posted this one said they captured the photograph earlier today. They said the following. I'm not sure if anyone else was watching the space cameras earlier today, but if they were, did they see this thing? I saw it come into view for around 10 seconds, and then fly out of frame. The ISS travels fast, so I wasn't able to observe it for long. I quickly saw it and so took a screenshot. I'm not saying that it's anything of interest, but I thought I'd post it and see if anyone saw the same thing. End quote. Before I carry on, NASA have said the space above our planet is littered with debris, and that sometimes when the International Space Station passes above us, these pieces of debris get picked up on. It doesn't mean it explains everything picked up by the ISS, but it's something to keep in mind. As pointed out by those who saw the image, this doesn't look like a typical piece of space debris. Some users even went on to say that this object looks like the mysterious Oumuamua, a strange space object that was detected flying through our solar system back in 2017. Interestingly, this isn't the first time that an object this shape has been seen close to the International Space Station. Others who often watch the live feeds have said they've seen similar looking objects, and say that they never seem to stick around for too long. Skeptics have suggested that these objects could be things like old rocket boosters, or other things of similar shape. And although this is a good suggestion, as some have pointed out these types of objects don't seem to act like pieces of debris, with some noticing that they can turn and move in the opposite direction to other pieces of debris. Another person said the following, I sometimes go on and watch the International Space Station, and you do sometimes see things flicker by. One of the things I've noticed is that you can very quickly tell the difference between a piece of space debris and one of these objects. That's not to say that these objects are proof of aliens, but I do find it funny when debris is put forward as the leading theory as to what these objects are. That's definitely not what people are seeing here. These objects are able to move very quickly, flying down towards Earth and in some cases shooting off into the cosmos. I'm not here to convince people, but I think we should stop labelling these as debris. End quote. As of right now, what these objects are and how they're able to do what they do is still heavily debated. It seems that the International Space Station is no stranger to odd events. Perhaps one of the most chilling was that of the water build-up incident. Described as one of the most unexplainable circumstances is that of the water build-up incident that happened during a routine spacewalk on the International Space Station. Back in July 2013, American astronaut Chris Cassidy and Italian astronaut Luca Palmitano were performing a 6 hour and 50 minute planned spacewalk when suddenly Palmitano told the astronauts and other space agencies that it felt as if the back of his head had just suddenly become wet. Understanding the dangers of water buildup on the inside of a suit during a spacewalk, Palmitano quickly tried to address and solve the issue in the hopes of the event not compromising the spacewalk that the team had just started an hour prior. Luca believed that his drink bag had possibly sprung a leak and was the main cause of the water buildup, and so quickly responded by removing and getting rid of his drink to solve the issue. Oddly enough, it appeared that water continued to build up inside the suit. The dangers with water in space is that, unlike on Earth, the surface tension of the water causes the compound to build up on the side of the surfaces, and could potentially cover the entire face of the person preventing them from breathing. The flight director, David Korff, immediately began to worry, 
after Palmitano claimed the water build-up had suddenly begun covering his ears, making it next to impossible to hear over the helmet's intercon systems. This led to the astronaut being told to find his way back to the airlock door, and to enter and stay inside the International Space Station until the cause of the leak could be better understood. This proved to be a problem as the water began covering the eyes of the astronaut. He also had no tether to find his way back to the airlock, so he was essentially blind. Luckily, the astronauts are already trained in such incidents, and are well aware of the ledges and ladders to grab onto. Further investigation into what could have potentially caused the build-up failed to bring up any real answers. The drink bag turned out to not be the cause, and engineers failed to find any evidence of any of the cooling systems malfunctioning. A few causes were suggested, but it just highlights how unpredictable these spacewalks can be. Recently, it seems there's been a lot of activity close to our moon. This comes in the form of unidentified flying objects. The most recent video comes from Facebook, with various groups sharing the footage. One thing that people can't agree on though is the size of the object. Some are saying that it's massive, while others have said the footage is suspicious. One individual said the object looks like a meteorite just collided with the moon, and that what we're looking at is the after effect. Others said that rather than being an asteroid, what we're looking at is an unidentified flying object. Interestingly, avid skywatchers have been sending in photographs and videos showing strange objects close to our moon. Although there's some that don't believe these objects are UFOs, many are of the opinion that they are. There's even some that have suggested the moon is not what we're being told. The most legitimate theory available at this time comes from the works of Russian researchers Michael Vasin and Alexander Shabakov, who put forward the idea of an artificial moon. They began to notice that the craters of the moon, regardless of the impact size or diameter, all equaled out in depth. They also noted that these craters had very shallow and flat interiors, and in other areas even containing convex bottoms. They hypothesized that meteors are hitting an armored hole underneath the surface of the moon, preventing further depths inside the celestial body, and believing the moon may be a possible spaceship created by complex alien life. They said that this theory was only reinforced as the mathematics for the moon and its density became an apparent issue. Given its size, location, and general theorized makeup, the moon should have a density of roughly 5.5 grams per cubic centimeter. However, given its orbital path and overall physics, we find the moon to only be 3.3 grams per cubic centimeter, causing the moon to be much less dense compared to our planet, despite theories of the moon's creation coming from materials of the Earth. Ancient Egypt has fascinated researchers for years. Every year, Egyptologists uncover new artifacts, each one giving us an insight into what life would have been like thousands of years ago. Perhaps one of the most mysterious figures that lived during this era was that of Cleopatra. She is one of history's most recognizable figures, yet historians and researchers don't know much about her, and this has led to many archaeologists trying to uncover information that may give us an insight into her life. The lack of discoveries in regards to Cleopatra have interested many historians over the years. One of the most sought-after discoveries in the field of archaeology is that of the discovery of the lost tomb of Antony and Cleopatra. According to ancient accounts, after the Roman leader Augustus defeated Antony and Cleopatra back in 30 BCE, 
he permitted them to be buried together in the city of Alexandria located in Egypt. Despite this report in detailed announcement, records elaborated that Antony had been cremated and placed into a large jar. However, Egyptologists and archaeologists are more than confident that the bodies of both rulers will be found mummified in a traditional Egyptian manner. Back in 2008 and 2009, popular Egyptologist Zaha Hawass announced that with the discovery of the Temple of Osiris within the city of Alexandria in Egypt, that he will be able to find the hidden tomb of Cleopatra and Antony. Unfortunately, despite more than 27 tombs being uncovered and 10 different mummies located in the region, not one of the tombs was indicative of that of the long-lost tomb of Antony and Cleopatra. Recently though, new evidence has come forward that could once and for all provide us with an answer to where she's buried. In a new documentary, Egyptologists and researchers have said the ancient ruler could be buried in a secret site close to the Nile Delta. Archaeologists who have been digging in the region around 60 miles from Cairo have said they think they're on the right track, and that hopefully they'll be able to uncover Cleopatra. On the 21st of June, the Science Channel is launching a new special, in which researchers will be digging in this region. The Science Channel said the following in a statement. In Egypt on the edge of the Nile Delta, a massive archaeological dig is underway, as experts search for the tomb of Egypt's most famous pharaoh. A new theory about Cleopatra's burial ground introduced by archaeologist Dr. Kathleen Martinez suggests her tomb may be found in a place known as Taposaurus Magna. This location is said to be a hotspot for underground chambers, and could once and for all put an end to the search for Cleopatra's tomb. It's also been noted that this is a place that hasn't been searched very much, so diggers are hoping this could be the final resting place of Cleopatra. Although not much is known about her whereabouts, her life and history has interested many people, and she's been depicted in movies and TV shows. Egyptologists are hoping this site could be the place of one of history's long lost figures. The moon is perhaps one of the most photographed objects in the night sky. The reason for this is because of how close it is to our planet. With a basic telescope, you are able to take some incredibly detailed photographs of it. It's due to this that some have managed to capture things they didn't expect to. This is what happened to one person in England. The individual who took the photograph said the following. While looking through my telescope, I was able to get a good view of the moon. I live in Dorset, England, and down here we don't get many days where we can stargaze. However, this particular night was a good one. The moon was in clear view from where I was so I decided to grab my telescope. I own a Celestron telescope and it's great for viewing the moon and planets. I didn't notice anything strange during my session, but when I got inside and flicked through the images, I noticed on one of them there was a strange looking object. To me it looks like a black triangle, and though it looks interesting, I've never seen anything like this before. I think it may have been a piece of space debris or an insect, I'm certain it wasn't a smudge on the telescope, as it wouldn't have been this detailed. I'm interested to hear what people's opinions are. It's not just this person that snapped something interesting close to our moon. With more and more people getting into stargazing and astrophotography, there's been some pretty strange finds that have even confused the most avid sky watchers. These black triangles are nothing new with some amateur researchers saying that even NASA themselves have captured them before. These black triangles are associated with UFOs, and have been reported by people from various locations across our planet for the last few decades. In fact, researchers have said they're one of the most common UFOs reported. Sightings of them typically follow a theme. People report seeing giant triangular objects in the sky that are completely silent. Sometimes they're just seen sitting in the sky motionless, while others are seen leaving a location at extremely high speeds. Interestingly, those who have researched these objects have said they come in waves, and that for a short period of time many people will report seeing them. 
There's been around 4,000 reports of the Triangle UFO since the 1990s in the UK alone. There have also been waves of Triangle UFO sightings in Belgium, France, Holland and Germany. As of right now, various theories have been put forward to try and explain what they are. Some have said they're top secret military crafts, that are able to outmaneuver anything we currently have on this planet, while others have said they're not from this Earth. Whatever these objects are, they've been fascinating people for years, and it seems the reports of them are not going to slow down anytime soon. So what do you make of this interesting photograph? And do you think it shows one of these black triangle UFOs? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below, and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.